All right, so I'm just about to replace the um, Discovery 3 rear brake rotor. So first thing first is we need to turn the keys on, press your foot brakes on, and then release your electronic parking brake, and then just turn the key off. And now I'll be lifting the, the rear wheels off the ground, and uh, we'll take both tires off. So I've taken the wheel off. So the first thing is you need to take this uh, tire brake pad sensor out. So it's already damaged there, so I might have to replace it at some point. Um, but I took it out, and there's a little, if you can focus in there, and there's a little notch there on the brake pad itself where this, uh, this little um, clip that sits there and where this sensor sits like that. Um, so that's that. After that's done, you have to get a, a 13 mil socket on this side for the brake sliding pins and you need to have a 15 mil spanner to hold it and undo these two bolts and following that I'll be using a 15 mil um, socket on the back just here to undo the caliper mount itself there's one here and one here um, and I'll take them all off clean up I'll be replacing the brake pads I'll be um, re-greasing the um, slider pin and then I'll take off the, the, the whole disc and break this and replace it with a new one. I'll re, um, readjust. Uh, so I've undone these two bolts, the slider pin bolts, and I'm just going to leave it out with the, using a, uh, using a screwdriver. So I'll just try and slide it out. So what you've got to be mindful is you don't want to um, have too much strain on this joint of the brake oil point. So you will just have to... I'll be using some um, cable ties to tie it somewhere here. So it doesn't... There's no strain or stress on this uh, joint here a brake oil, uh, for the brake oil connection point. After that, I'll undo... I'll take off the shoe which is pretty easy you can slide it using it yeah like that and uh, get them out and i will undo the other two bolts to get the whole caliper caliper bracket out these are two caliper sliding pins they are fairly in good condition so i'm just going to wipe them up with a clean paper towel I'll re-grease them with the silicone grease and uh, yeah, try and clean it up. Uh, tidy up the, the hole itself. It's, it's actually pretty clean, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. So next is getting the disc off the hub and um, I've used T50 Torx um, screw and yeah it's not that tight it, it's only 35 newton meter torque setting for this one so it's not it's not that bad so I've taken that off I'm expecting this to be a bit uh, difficult so if it's difficult I might try and get this um, the setting here done there's a little cog here to adjust the stiffness of the, the, the brake pad. So the spring gets, you can adjust the spring to stretch into the disc, disc or out. So I might adjust that to try and pull it out. So, um, yeah, but if not, it's, I can move it a bit, but it's still tough. So I'll do that. Yep, so I wobbled it around and managed to pull it out. So there you go, the old one, there's a lot of brake dust there as you can see, and it's it's already caved in, so just about, if not well overdue, to be replaced, and I'm just going to tidy this up a bit, uh, I'm not going to change anything as of now, I might do a second project for this one, um, this is the cog I was talking about, which you need to... Um, 
which we need afterwards when I put the new one in um, to adjust. Uh, right, so I'm just putting some copper paste um, NPCs just here. Um, so it doesn't sort of, so it's easy for me to take it off next time if I have to. So I don't have a proper applicator, so I'm just using my gloves and the, whatever the contact is. So I'm just going to put it sparingly there. Uh, so with the new rotor here, I'm going to try and line up this hole with the, the, uh, the holding there and line up with the, the bolts and try and squeeze it in. So I had to loosen that up a bit to get try and get it in and I'm just going to tap it with the mallet and I will put the, the holding screw down to 35 meter meter. So I've got my little clearance set up um, to 35 meter meter. Yeah, it is 35. So now to set up um, to set up the uh, the brake itself, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna tighten um, the cog um, so you up to so you're gonna try and we'll use the torque wrench as a guide to move it in the direction of the travel, which is the clockwise in this case and you just set it up between start from 40 um, so the torque has to be between 40 to 90 newton meter so what I'm going to do is I'm going to normally it's pretty loose as you can see this I have it set up at 40 newton meter and there's literally nothing there it spins so I'm going to tighten that a bit and as soon as it starts to click at 40 so it should be tight enough so it clicks at 40 but not beyond 90 so I'll, I'll try and set up between 40 to 80 uh, and once that's done then you're gonna do you're gonna tighten it back to 8 click and that's what it's um, that's that's what it's setting for and then there's a separate process to um, take it for the ride and do all the brake test uh, and stuff which you, which I will do as a separate video um, this is purely for the um, this is purely for the installation um, part only. So uh, I've tightened the bit, so I'll try and try it at 40 newton meter. Yeah, yeah so it's clicking at 49 meter. So I'll raise it to 60. Yeah, not so much. I might tighten it a bit. I'll set it to that 60, 70, say around 80 ish newton meter. So fill it should that's a bit too tight because it shouldn't be that is 90 newton meter so tight so I'll loosen that a bit so as you can see this is um uh, this is like a heat and trial method so you might have to give it a few more um So I finally done that adjustment between 40 to 90 meters. So it started clicking from 40 up to 60, 70, and then it didn't pass 90, and that's what's required. After that's done, I'm gonna loosen it by eight clicks. Um, exact, it has to be exact eight clicks. So you can do that using that, and then just click it down, which uh, clicking it up is making it loose like that. <clears throat> and that's done already. So I will now mount these, uh, caliper bolt, caliper bracket um, uh, with this uh, just in there so there are two um, two bolts holding it and I'll torque it to 115 newton meter which is not that bad so because I'm putting new brake pads I'm using this C-clamp um, and one of the old brake pad um, 
to try and clamp like this and push the piston back the, the brake piston back and I've kept the brake oil reservoir open uh, under the bonnet so it can release um, air or it can release uh, if any excess fluid if it has putting a old brake pad here and just tightening this C clamp and pushing this um, as far as you need and then you can slide them into the um, around the new brake pad after that silicon paste grease um, on the slider pin mm. Um, so I'm going to um, put some inside the, the groove itself as well. Um. <clears throat> then it goes into the pin. Tucks in. Likewise for the other one. And you can just see it should be loose enough to come out, which it is, that's good. So I've already put the brake clips in. So I'm gonna put now some grease on the sliding bit of the brake pad as well, where it sort of slides in and out on that slot. Okay, um, so I'll have to put the pin for the thing here, but I can put it afterwards with the plier. Um, what I also need to do is put on the contact surface Hopefully it slides in because it should be, yeah, it, it, it does easily. Um, so I'm going to put the bolt back on. And the torque for this is 35 uh, Newton meter, which is not that much. But I need another 15 mil um, uh, spanner to hold it on this side, as I showed you earlier while I was opening it. And I'll be tightening that shortly. So I'm going to use this uh, plier to slide into that little slot, slide this pin or clip into that little slot. Um, it's pretty tight. <laughs> yep. Need to wiggle that a bit. And I will. Uh, punch this um, so it's all done now so I've changed the rotor changed the pad and I think uh, in my next video I'll change the upgrade the interior um, EPB as well or electronic parking brake there's a bit of a drama putting back on uh, brake pad sensor um, yeah but managed to do that I have uh, now it can spin a, a bit um, so this is torqued to 35 newton meter the a caliper holder, a bracket holder, it's uh, nuts are 115 and the sliding pin nuts are 35 newton meter. Um, so now I need to go back and go to the bonnet and cover the cap of the reservoir or put the tire back on and lower the vehicle. And that's how the rear brake um, uh, disc and pad change is done on the Discovery 3.